Hello friends welcome to electrical technician channel. Today we are going to learn how to use float switch to control our water tank level. First of all let's learn how to do power wiring of motor. In our 4 pole MCB, we have to take 3 phase power supply and a neutral supply and we will connect all this power to the incoming terminal of MCB. Now from the output terminal of MCB we will connect one wire this is our line 1 supply and we will connect it to the contactor incoming terminal. Same like that we will connect our line 2 and line 3 power supply from MCB to contactor incoming terminal. After connecting a wire to the incoming terminal of contactor, we will connect a wire from output terminal of contactor to the motor terminal. After doing power wiring for the motor, we will do the control wiring. We will learn in animation and we will do practical also. In our MCB we already have three phase power supply and neutral also. Now we just have to take one phase power and connect it to our float switch. In float switch there are three wire. We have to connect the live wire to the brown wire and we will take output from black wire of float switch and connect it to the A1 terminal of contactor. After that we will take neutral wire from MCB output terminal and connect it to our contactor A2 terminal. Now we will do practically wiring as we see in the animation. So first of all we will connect one wire with brown wire of the float switch and after that we will connect the other end of the wire with the MCB. By this connection we are giving incoming power supply to the float switch now if we on the MCB then the float switch will get incoming power supply. If the float switch is downward we will not get any output supply but when we pull up the float switch then we will start getting output power supply. After connecting the incoming supply for float switch. We will connect the outgoing supply, for that we are using a black wire, as we know that in float switch there are three wire, in that there is one is black wire. We will use this black wire for output supply. We will connect the other side of the wire with contactor A1 terminal so that the connector will start operating by the float switch. As we know that we have to connect neutral supply to A2 terminal of contactor, so we will directly give neutral supply from MCB to contactor A2 terminal. After doing this connection the contactor will start working. Our all connections is completed now we will do its practical. We have not used any motor to operate by the limit switch. But we will use a indicating lamp as a motor. The contactor will get on when the float switch is upward and when the float switch go downward the contactor will get off. When we on the main power of MCB we see that the contactor is still off. But as soon as we pull up the float switch the contactor get on. If we used like this connection in our water tank, our motor will be off when the water tank level is down but when the water level increase the motor will get on. But how water tank will fill water if the motor not get on when the water level is down? So now we will change its connection to make motor get on when the water tank level get low. We will change the incoming power supply connection and even outgoing supply connection. So first of all we will give incoming power supply to the black wire of float switch from MCB. We are connecting one wire in float switch black wire after connecting it we connect the other end of the wire with MCB output terminal. Now we will connect one more wire in float switch. We know that there are three wire in float switch so we will use blue wire for outgoing supply to contactor A1 terminal. We have connected a blue wire with float switch and the other end of the wire. We will connect it with A1 terminal of float switch. We have now changed the connection of the float switch. Let's see does it work in properly. It should now on the contactor when the water tank level get low or when the float switch goes down. It's time to test our float switch let's on the MCB. We now on the MCB our contactor is off still. When we pull the wire upward, the float switch is still downward. Our contactor is now on. When we pull the float switch upward, the contactor get off. You can see that now our float switch is working properly. It will on the motor when the water level of our water tank get low. But when the water tank get full it will automatically switch off the motor. Now we can control our water tank water level automatically by this electrical float switch. By this float switch you can save water and even electricity bill by not using motor unusually. 
Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, share and comments in this video.